Hey guys, today on Know Your Produce, we're making scallion pancakes. No, it's not a breakfast pancake. These are like the best pancakes that you can ever order from your local Chinese restaurant. They're an appetizer, they're on the menu, and they usually come in like these little shapes, like a little pizza, so they cut them into four. Um, and then you could just dip them into the sauce, and they are so good. It's one of our favorites. I've loved it since I'm a kid. I've turned my whole family onto them, and I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. It's definitely one of those comfort food recipes that you can get at the restaurant, but you can also easily make this at home. So in a medium sized bowl, I have flour and I'm adding some regular salt and then I'm just gonna combine this because I want that salt to incorporate into the flour. Just lightly stir it and then we're also gonna add in some hot water. You don't want lukewarm and you don't want burning, boiling water. You want it to be hot water. So then once that water's in there, I'm going to mix it with my spoon just until the flour and the water kind of form a dough. And then once it's starting to form that dough, I'm going to use my hands and really get in there to knead the dough. And then once you see it coming together, like I said, you wanna get in there and knead it with your hands. And then you wanna do it very quickly. You don't wanna push it too much because then it'll get really tough. So you wanna just do it until it forms a ball. And then I'm taking a damp cloth and covering it for 30 minutes. And now I have scallions. I bought a whole bunch and I'm actually just gonna chop all of them. We don't need all of them. I like to just do like about a teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending on the size of the scallion pancake I'm making but I love prepping everything whenever I buy it, so this way it's easy to use and grab right out of the fridge. And then I'm also gonna be making a sauce, so while that dough sits, I'm going to make that delicious dipping sauce. It's super flavorful, and we start off with some freshly minced garlic. So now in a bowl, I'm gonna use some coconut aminos, which is a lower sodium soy sauce alternative with rice wine vinegar, and then I'm also gonna add in that freshly minced garlic along with some toasted sesame oil. But if you wanted to keep the sauce oil free, you could also use some toasted sesame seeds, but they will be in there. And then some crushed red pepper flakes. These give it a little bit of heat and make it super delicious. And then we're gonna mix that. And then I also, remember I cut up a ton of scallions. I like to add those fresh scallions into this dipping sauce as well. So just a few pieces, not a ton, and then just mix this up and then once you have it all mixed up, you want to put this into the refrigerator. So now that our dough has rested for 30 minutes, I'm just rolling it into a ball on a floured surface right before I'm gonna use my rolling pin. I find that it helps to keep it nice shape. And we're just rolling this, not to keep the shape right now, but to actually roll it thin enough to put the scallions in. So now that you have it like this, we're gonna take some oil and lightly brush it onto the dough. You don't wanna use a ton of oil, it's just so that the dough will stick to itself and the scallions will kind of stick in there and then we're gonna take the desired amount of scallions I like a lot of scallions but if you like a little bit of scallions you can use less just remember you're gonna be using the sauce so there's flavor coming from everywhere and then once you have the desired amount you're gonna roll it up I kind of like to say roll it up like you would kind of like cinnamon rolls <laughs> it just reminds me of rolling up cinnamon rolls but we're gonna do something a little bit different and then roll it up into like a little spiral And then once you have it into this spiral, you're gonna use the heel of your hand and you're gonna smash it. Now that it's nice and smashed, we're gonna take our rolling pin again and then roll it flat. I'm using a little bit more of the flour because it's kind of sticky now from all the oil and I just wanna make it the desired thickness for me. I like them a little bit thicker, but if you like them really thin and crispy, you can keep rolling it as much as you like or as thick as you like. Um, I really do like it. I find it's really delicious when it's nice and fluffy. So this will give me a nice and fluffy scallion pancake. And now we're ready to pan fry them. I like to use just a little bit of oil, um, but I remember when I would order it from the restaurant, I would go with my mom and I would watch them make it and they would actually drop it into a deep fryer. It was greasy, it was delicious, 
but my gosh, it was greasy. This is just a little bit of oil. It makes it nice and brown, and it's nice and crispy and fluffy on the inside. It's perfect. So I do it just like this, and you can see I'm flipping it. Both sides are nicely golden, and that is perfect. So then you're just gonna drop another one into the pan. You don't even have to use a ton of oil. Like this one is gonna crisp up nicely. You can see I use just a little bit of oil, but if you use a lot of oil, you can see how it absorbs into it. And then you can make these as big or as small as you want. This is double the size because we have enough dough to make a big one. And it is perfect for us to share. And it's so delicious. Oh my gosh, look at all those scallions. Now once these are done, I like to just cut them into four pieces when they're small, but if they're bigger, you can do like about six to eight pieces. This way they're easy to dip into the sauce because you don't want them to be too big. And that is it, they're done and they're ready to eat. I like to refrigerate any leftovers and then pop it into the toaster oven to heat them up. They are so good, we hope you enjoy them too. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.